last thing that we want to talk about is the powers of I, because um, there's a shortcut here that you can work with. So let's work through these quick. Um, anything to the zero power, of course, is just one. There it is. I to the first power is just I. And then I squared is negative one. Now, when we get to I cubed, well, we can rewrite that. That's the same thing as I squared times I, just splitting it up. And I squared is negative one, so we can replace that with negative one. So I cubed is the same thing as negative I. Then I to the fourth, well, that's the same thing as I squared times I squared. And I squared is just negative 1, so this is the same thing as negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. I to the fifth, well, that's the same thing as um, I squared times I squared times I, just splitting it up. You can split it up differently, too. You don't even have to do it that way. Oh, sorry about that. And I squared, and I squared both negative 1, so you have negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1, and then you've got this I. So this is I. I to the 6, well, that's going to be I squared times I squared times I squared, which is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is, of course, negative 1. And what you'll notice is these start to occur in patterns, okay? It occurs in a pattern of 4. 1i, negative 1, negative i. 1i, negative 1. So i to the seventh is going to be negative i. Okay, so this pattern is going to keep repeating. So what that means is you can find any power of an i pretty easily. Since these occur in cycles of 4, all you have to do is take the power and divide it by 4, and whatever the remainder is, that's the power of i that you want. And I'll give you a demonstration. Um, I know that you know these already, okay? Um, it's the i cubed that you have to remember. i cubed is negative i. So there's a fantastic song um, that I wrote about it. It's called Eye of the Tiger. Um, it goes to the chorus of Eye of the Tiger. Um, I have like a video clip of this, so I'll include this later on, but these are the words to it. And anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this is uh, this is an ACT type problem. You're going to see this on the ACT probably. Um, they like to do that kind of stuff to you. And they're easy to do. So, watch. We have negative i to the sixth power. Well, that negative, we can treat this as like negative one to the sixth power and i to the sixth power, right? We can split it up that way. So, negative one to the sixth power, that's just going to be positive one. So, we don't really care about that. So, what we're really looking at is i to the sixth power. Now, I, knew, I know we already did that in the table, but let me show you how else you can do it. You can take this power, 6, and divide it by 4. 4 goes in one time with the remainder of 2. That's what we want, the remainder. i to the 6 is the same thing as i squared. And of course, i squared is negative 1. So negative i to the 6th power is negative 1. Um, let's go down and do c first, um, and we'll come back to b. So this is the type of thing you might see on the ACT is they say, oh, what's i to the 145th power? Well, all you have to do is, since those powers of i repeat in fours, is you take 145 and divide it by 4. You can do long division. Your fifth grade teacher taught you. Um, let's see, that goes in three times, which is 12, which is 25. Uh, that goes in six times. I don't even care about that answer. Okay, what I need to know is the remainder. That i to the 145th is the same thing as i to the first power, which of course is just i. So i to the 45th power is i. All right, let's do this last one. Okay, so if we have 2i cubed, that's the same thing as 1 over 2 cubed and i cubed. So that's going to be 1 over 8. And remember, i cubed is the one that you have to remember. i cubed is negative i. So we have this. 
Now, remember, we don't want to end our problems with the i in the denominator, so we need to, well, it's kind of like rationalizing it, except it's not a radical. So what we're going to do is to get rid of that i, we're just going to multiply by i, top and bottom. It's pretty easy. So that gives us i over negative 8 times i times i is i squared. And of course, i squared is negative 1. So in the denominator, we have negative 8 times negative 1, which is positive 8. So our final answer is i over 8, which you could also write as 1 8 i. So that is lesson 1.5b, um, finishing up our complex numbers.